a friend sent me this on Facebook. It's the updated order of the Secretary of the Pennsylvania Department of Health requiring universal face coverings. Six pages, and so it goes over, you know, physical distancing, school entity face coverings, face covering requirements, indoor, outdoor, as permitted, the usual, where you, you're required to wear it. Now, but when you go down, accommodations could include alternative to a face covering, such as use of a face shield or providing service options that do not require a customer to enter the business. This may include offering curbside pickup delivery or other innovative solutions. Now, but this is the part right here where it's being violated and I'll show you the video of where it's being violated at and the laws that are being broken. So a business or school entity should not enforce face covering requirements when it is unsafe to do so. They should not restrain, assault, use force, or physically remove employees, teachers, students, customers, or other individuals who refuse to comply with this order when it would not otherwise be legal to do so. Violate other laws, including state and federal anti-discrimination laws. Effective on other orders of the Secretary of Health, my order requiring universal face coverings dated July 15, 2020 is hereby recited and superseded by this order. So this is as of this order is effective on and enforcement will begin November 18th, 2020. So last month, exactly, today's December 18th, 2020. So it's by the secretary, Rachel Levine. So my stance on the mass ordeal is it's your freedom of your religious beliefs to wear the mask or not to wear the mask. It's, it's solely up to you and they should leave it that way where it's up to you to wear your mask or not but the problem is when you mention religion they don't understand that it's what consists of a religion is your moral and ethical beliefs too many people think that just because you say it's against my religion my religious beliefs that you're you're putting a, a denomination attached to it as if you're a Christian or a Buddhist or a Baptist or a Catholic. It doesn't matter. It, that's not the point of a religious belief. It's about your morals. Concern with principles of right and wrong behavior, of the goodness or badness of human character. Virtuous, good, righteous, upright, Upstanding, high-minded, right-minded, principled, proper, honored, honorable, honest, just, noble, incorruptible, respectful, decent, truthful, law-abiding. My religious beliefs consist of things that are law-abiding, not breaking the law, things that are pure, blameless, and sinless. According to the title, the Civil Rights Act, a religious practice or belief is defined as moral or ethical beliefs as to what is right and wrong, which are sincerely held. The fact that no religious group espouses such beliefs or the fact that the religious group 
to which the individual professes to belong may not accept such belief will not determine whether the belief is a religious belief of the employee or prospective employee. So this is about employees request for uh, re religious accommodations and it goes for the same as a, a customer going into a store that is exercising your First Amendment right, which is your freedom to practice your religion, or not, in private or public. The First Amendment provides that Congress make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting its free exercise. It protects freedom of speech, the press, assembly, the right to petition the government for a regress of grievances. So this is a double standard. The, the Warminster shop right, I'm going to show you the video uh, that I did, and I'm going to take the, instead of running the entire video, I'm just going to take the parts of it. Extra precaution. Employees at this shop right in Warminster, PA, are now wearing face shields, mask and gloves they aren't required to wear it and let me stop highlighting it because it keeps moving they are not required to wear the equipment but are encouraged to do so their own website PA are now ShopRite and Warmerson PA are now wearing face shields, masks, and gloves. They aren't required to wear the equipment, but are encouraged to do so. Customers are still greeted with a smile, even though you can't see it behind the mask at the store on Street Road. I wasn't greeted with any smiles, but this time by an employee wearing a face shield while offering sanitized wipes for shopping carts. You can't force anybody to wear these. We encourage it really strongly, plus the face mask we're wearing as well, said the store owner, Joe Kohei. So here's my experience in ShopRite going in, exercising my freedom of religion without a mask. Do you have a manager on site that I can talk to about that? If he has, if he has an issue with it? Uh, if you don't have a manager here? What's that? No, I don't wear a mask. Alright, the certain policy, if you come in here, you must wear a mask. If you don't wear a mask, we offer alternative means of shopping. But you yeah. can't be in here without a mask. But it's our store policy. No, I understand that, but it's against my religion to wear Okay, that's fine. Then you can you can do alternate methods of shopping. It's yeah, I'm not doing all Okay, then then I would have to ask you to leave. You can ask me to leave, but I don't have to leave. Yeah, if you're not going to go to buy by our <clears> store. Now, when I looked on your website, this store here, the customers, they're not you can't your own manager says you cannot force anybody to wear the, wear the mask. No. Put it there. You no, that's a, I don't know what that is. No. You come in here, you wear a mask. You don't want to wear a mask, you can leave. Warmerson Township. Follow you from over here. Warmerson Township. It's, it's store policy. Yeah, no it's a store. Worry. But it also says that they cannot. Store policy, yeah. Wrong. They are, are required to wear the equipment, but are encouraged to do so. This is your website, right? Here. I don't know what website that is. If you're in here shopping, <clears throat> you wear a mask. Or you can use one of our alternative methods of shopping. It's against my religion. That's my, fine. First, my First Amendment right. And that's not a religion, your First Amendment right. Oh, it's it my is. First Amendment right to tell you that my store policy is what you have to it's wear. A, it's, it's a religion to believe that you have to wear it. No. Good.
Uh, I would appreciate, I would appreciate it if you respect that policy. Whatever religion you have, I, I respect that. Yeah. But we really have to. Uh, we have a policy, and by enforcing our policy, we're keeping everybody safe from our employees <laughs> and customers. That's according to the CDC guidelines that you think. It's it's your belief that yeah. that's true. Correct. That you're going to the policy, and I have the right to. Are you the manager? Yes, I'm the soldier. Okay. When this, I just tried to show him, but on your actual website, this is Warmest Township uh, shop right grocery store, right? Mm -hmm. All right. It says that they're ramping up the health safe measures of employees during the COVID outbreak. They aren't required to wear the equipment, but are encouraged to do so. No, we are required. I don't know what that. Is. You don't know what put it no. up. No, I don't. We are required. Everyone comes in this building required to wear a mask. All I can tell you is I refuse to wear a mask. I'm not. Right here, peacefully. Uh, can you wait out there? Wait out where? Uh, in the lobby. No, 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 I'm waiting right here in the store. You can't, you can't restrict my movement. I just can't. I can't restrict. I have the if you want to, if you want to be charged with unlawful restraint, that's fine. Just call the cops. No, the this cops is my policy, and I enforce my policy. I understand. You can force me. You don't have to leave. I'm going to ask you to leave. I'm respectful for you. I'm asking you to leave right now. I'm not leaving. Okay. I'm going to talk to the cops immediately. It's fine. Uh, we'll carry you out to the first order. Huh? I will carry you out. That's a straight up threat assault. That's just one law that's being broke, along with illegal restraint and false imprisonment. It is illegal for you or any other employee to block yeah. someone's entry to establishment. Ask Jill you know, to call them to the show. Um, hey, for the program, you absolutely need one trespass that needs to be done. How can you be trespassing when okay. is there a law? I don't respect my county. Is there is there a law that states it? But you have to follow the federal law. That's, no, that's my. Do you problem. understand that you're breaking the law? That's fine. I'm, I'm not going to sue okay. you. This is my I, policy. If you're not going to respect my policy, um, whatever you say, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, why don't you respect the federal? Why don't you respect the federal? Right, yeah. And you know what? That's why I protect all my employees for the last year. We have not had a case because we have a policy in place. We have a program in place. We have no case. We have a policy in effect. We have a pro. Look, look at the the lady. Like she's not wearing her mask all the way correctly. Employees for the last year. We have not had a case. I mean, is that not a slap in the face? Yeah, we have no cases of COVID whatsoever. Okay? Well, that's because good. Because we have a policy that we Yeah, I'm glad to hear it. I'm protecting my employees, I'm protecting my customers, I'm protecting you. Well, you so, are, user are all protected, right? Because you have your mask on. No, because you have you got to have your mask on. But aren't you protecting me from... I'm from... protecting everybody. I'm protecting everybody. Between my customers and my employees. If you don't, if you cannot understand that, no, I I understand what it is, but there's an infringement of, of people's First no. Amendment right. This is whatever whatever the law is law. Okay, this is my shopper policy. This is my policy. I put the policy. The owner put the policy. Yeah, well, you can put pickpocket Tuesday because it's your policy, but it's against the law. You can't it's make it. It's not against the law. It's it, not against the law. We have attorneys to back us up. Yeah. yeah, we have attorneys that help us put these policies in place. Yeah. That's why we just restrict it. Cincinnati, you got to beat up on them. You got to beat up on them. You need to be back from where you You know about irrevocable licenses, right? I don't right? hear about them. You don't want to hear about nothing, do you? Nope. That, that, you don't respect the policy. That, all that doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. I understand. I can see that. Nothing matters to you guys. Nope. It's just all about following, following the all policy. It's for you to wear a mask. Is it is it a law to wear a mask? It's my law. It's your law? Yeah. So you made your own law. It's my, that's my own policy. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. It's his own law that he's making up. But you just said you made your own law. That's my own law. That's my own shop right law. He's making up his own law and he will carry me out. That's wow. Like, Where did you make are you are you part of the legislative branch that you can make a law? You are in shop right. You are in my property. But it's but it's you a, are in my property. You follow my policy. Yeah. Otherwise you have the you have the law. 
I know what I, I need to talk to them anyway. I appreciate I'm arguing with you. I don't have to fight with you. Listen, man. We'll talk to them. The problem is I'm not arguing with you or fighting with you. You're arguing with me and fighting no, with me. No, because you're disrespecting my policy. You're disrespecting my freedom. No, that's not your freedom. You, it, talk, to, you talk to the president. My okay. First Amendment right is to be able to practice my religion you or not. That, you told that to the cops. I am going to the cops. you got something else, man. It's only a... Like I'm doing what I've been doing my entire life, which is coming in on your business elsewhere. You practice your freedom elsewhere. I'm taking my business right here. Okay, no, you're not. No, you're not. If you're not going to respect my policy, I don't need your business. If you're not going to respect my policy, I don't need your business. You should respect the constitutional rights. That's it. This is a policy throughout the country. Okay? You don't make up stuff. Yeah, I... Yeah, who... It's a mandate, right? This, this is a mandate. This is a mandate, ain't it? By, by state law, they mandate that you must wear a mask. It's a mandate by the owner, by the company, by our policy. It's a protection of my Yes, I understand. No, you don't. Obviously, you don't. But that's your belief. Which is, you have a right to believe if you that. Don't, if you don't respect our belief, okay, you don't have to be there. You don't have to shop our street. That's all it is. Yeah. You respect me, I respect you. That's all it is. If you don't agree with my policy, you don't have to shop here. Simple as that. I don't agree with anybody's policy because these That's are, your problem. These your are problem. all violating the law. That's fine. If you try to restrict my movement from moving forward, it's illegal restraint. That's a charge. That's fine. So is false imprisonment. So is false imprisonment. Go ahead, buddy. Do what you're going to do. I don't think you're going to do. Your own website. Your own website. Says you, can't, website. says you can't force me to wear a mask. I guess it's just made up then, right? Dude, listen, uh, like I said. Here he is right here. You can't force anybody to wear these. Who's the Joe on who's the owner? Joe Cohen? Cohen? Listen, you speak to the cops right Is Joe Co who's the Joe on who's the owner? Joe Who's the Joe on who's the owner? Joe Cohen? Cohen? Listen, you speak to the cops right there. Is Joe Co I'm Cohen? Not gonna argue is that his name? I'm not going to argue with Is the owner's name Joe Joe Cohen? Cohey. I'll take it as a yes. Joe Cohey said that they strongly urge you to wear a mask, but cannot force you to. So they're his words. That's not true. Can I speak to Joe? No. Where's he at? You can't speak to Joe. Why not? Because you can't. Because I'm the store manager. You speak to me. All right, well, I'll be talking to Joe. And I'll ask when him. When the cops come in, you told the cops. Yeah, yeah, I would not. Well. You can't force anybody to wear these masks. We encourage it real strongly. I mean, I can see how, I can see how you guys really encourage it strongly, but you can't force anybody this to do it. This is our policy. Now, watch this guy here. Like, is that not done on purpose? Like, a, like just a, an F you to me? Hey, yo, buddy. All right, good. Uh, I'm not sure if you're updated with our policy. Our policy is everyone wants to wear a mask. And this gentleman is not respecting our policy. So we're asking. So there he is. There he is right there. It's the, it's on, it's six. Channel 6 News, ABC, did a special on it. And these are these are the owner's own words. I mean, it's just sickening beyond measure how they, they can just make up their own laws and break them, and there's nothing anybody can do about it at this, at this time. You have called you to be restored? And you refuse. I'm sure I can talk to you. You guys are being recorded for security purposes. That's okay. Just like you recorded me. Right. So... My First Amendment right is my religious belief. I'm able to practice it or not practice it, wherever it is. They can claim it's not an actual religion, but this is a religion. Your religion is based on your belief, your belief system. I believe that when I come into the store, I shouldn't be harassed and people telling them that telling me that they're going to call the cops on me to try to get you to force me out of here. I 
talked to him, I told him about his own manager, whose name is Joe Kohei, and he even says it strictly right here, you cannot force anybody to wear a mask, but we encourage it real strongly. What's your name, sir? Robin Tees. Robin, Robin Tees. Mandate, instruction, directive, direction, command, an order, injunction, charge, commission, a ruling, an ordinance. Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf. Pandemic shutdown ruled unconstitutional by a federal judge. A federal judge in western Pennsylvania has ruled that the coronavirus related shutdown imposed by Governor Wolf is unconstitutional for reasons including violating the First Amendment right to assemble. U.S. District Court Judge William Stickman said the uh, limits on gathering of 25 people indoors and 250 out of doors as well as a stay at home and business closure component of the order issued by Wolf and Health Secretary Dr. Rachel Levine were both unconstitutional. This is Rachel Levine, and now this is a new, this is as of last month. A business or school entity should not enforce face mask requirements when it is unsafe to do so. Restrain assault, which is what they're doing right now. Using force, which is what they're doing. They're restraining me against my will, which is what they're doing. And they were and he threatened to physically remove me out of the store. Teachers, student customers, or other individuals who refuse to comply with this order. I refuse to comply with this order. These laws are being broken violate other laws, including state and federal anti-discrimination laws. One race, religion, whatever. Mm -hmm. If you'd like the opportunity to shop in the store, you need to wear a mask. If you don't want to wear a mask... Well, you encourage to wear a mask. No, they said you need to wear a mask. And if you don't wear a mask, you need to leave the store. They've asked to leave the store, so you need to leave the store. I need to leave, or they asked me to leave? They asked you to leave the store. All right. I have an irrevocable license to be in any store, just like everybody on the planet has an irrevocable license. This place is a public accommodation. They sell goods to services to the public. I'm part of the public. So when I come into the store, and especially on their own website, when their own their own boss says that they cannot force you to wear a mask. So if he is saying he can't force me to wear a mask, why would you try to force me out of the store? Anybody you to leave the store. So right now you're considered a trespasser. Trespassing for but for what reason? Because you're not welcome to the store if you're not going to follow the rules. They can make up their own rules if they want, but they still have to follow the federal laws. Is it against the law to trespass? Trespass is not of itself a criminal offense. However, there are some offenses in which trespass is an essential element, and this guidance sets out the most commonly encountered examples of such offenses. The police officers can also remove property or vehicles from trespassers. The police must be satisfied that the occupier has taken reasonable steps to ask trespasser to leave. Usually a verbal request followed by a written request should be sufficient. I was never asked to leave by the police officer. That's why I'm still there talking to him because the store owners are telling me I must leave, I have to leave. In the end, the officer, before he gets ready to lock me up, he doesn't ask me if I'm going to leave. He's asking me, are you going to put a mask on? What's happening here is when they try to restrict my movement forward, like when I, when I turn around and start walking forward to continue to shop, they're going to be... See, there's backup. You, you know what the, you know what uh, unlawful restraint is, right? I do, yes. What is it? Can you explain to them what that means, unlawful sure. restraint? I'm, not asking, I'm talking to the officer. They have not unlawfully restrained. Not at this moment, but they are trying to keep me from moving forward. My freedom to move forward is being infringed. I have my constitutional rights. 
All you guys have is right. See, what you don't understand is, I'm doing it. See, it's just being ignorant. I'm actually sticking up for everybody here because you don't have to wear your mask. You don't have to wear it. You don't have to wear it. You don't have to wear it. That's your fault. That's that's your fault. That's your belief. That's not my belief. Hey, it's my belief, but you know what? I can't force you to take your mask off. You can't force me to put a mask on. It's It goes both ways. If they cannot force you to put a mask on, but they can tell you you can't chop your if you're not going to follow the rules. But the rules are here because of something that they believe, which is their right to believe. It's their religious beliefs. It has everything to do with religion. There's a epidemic right now. You heard of it, right? Of course I heard of it. Thousands of people dying every day. That's, that's your belief. I here standing here right now. If there was a law that says you can be locked up if you do not wear a mask, where is the law? Because if there's no law, there's no trespassing. They can't make up rules with no law. There's no backing to it. It's just like they can tell you you're not allowed to smoke in the store. It's the same thing. You can't smoke in here, right? Would you agree with that? Yeah, who would? Okay, well, who wouldn't wear a mask? The people that don't believe they have to, which is their religious belief. Smoking which is in a store is an actual law. Amendment, right? That you can mask practice isn't. your religion or not. Wherever you can either, you can either believe the virus thing is real and comply with the ordinances. But these orders, you do know that Governor Wolf already violated our First Amendment right and our 14th Amendment right with the freedom to assemble. Did you hear that he did that? I don't know where you're getting information. You're doing this, this, but this is all about the situation. What I'm trying to say is I wouldn't be standing here if I felt like I was in the wrong. Yep. He's doing it again. He, these are authoritative orders you're saying they're mandates by our governor. He's already violating his authority. He's been proven it. He's violating this one, too. He's violating his authority that you feel like you have to wear a mask when there is no law that says you have to. And there's no police officer that I know of that are enforcing these, these rules because these are unlawful rules. There's no backing behind it. There's no law. These are lawless rules. A school is permitted to establish rules to keep their establishment safe and to keep their customers safe. Right. And if they feel that something's unsafe, they can enforce that. The school has a law. They can enforce it, but they can enforce it, but they they can enforce it, but they still need to follow the federal law. But that's a whole separate issue. If you feel that your laws have been violated, well, we can take that up in a later date. Man, have they ever been? And so, if I don't leave, see, he still didn't ask me to leave. What would what would, what would you do to me? We're going to arrest you for criminal trespass. Criminal trespass. Even though there's no law saying that you have to wear a mask. The store has a rule. You need to wear a they, mask when you're in here. They can make any rules they want to. It's so also in the whole state here. It's in the state, it's in the county. Everybody should be wearing a mask right now. This is all going to change, and it's going to start with this story. And you're going to thank me for it. I would love for this to change. Look, before you. In the end, to get rid of this. in the end, you'll thank me for it. Yeah, but right now, you hate I me. I would love it. to see that. I would love to see that change. Believe it or not. Now we're all like, like the whole goal with the mask is we can knock this disease down, and that the disease ends, and we can all be normal again. Yeah. Um, you know, nobody wants to wear a mask. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to help people with. Nobody wants to wear a mask. However, we feel like we have to. We get in trouble for not wearing a mask. Nobody wants to get sick either. Yeah. You want to be sick on Christmas? I don't wear a mask. I have it more when I'm not going to wear one ever. Because it's my religious belief not to. That's why I'm here standing up for every, everybody's constitutional rights that you just don't get. This is for you. This is for your family. I don't need to ask you if you believe this thing is a legitimate thing, but if you don't, they're forcing you to wear your mask, and it's against your religion if you don't want to. That's what's being protected but in a constitutional right. There's no police officers that are actually enforcing this rule because you're not a CDC guideline uh, enforcement officer, are you? No, Okay, well then you can't, but, but you can't enforce something can't enforce that because there's no law behind it. That's why the police like to stay out of it. 
most most police officers do not even get involved with this because it's it's so it's so neutral and there's there's this side and that side so it's a fine balance be, between who's committing crimes here if i get pulled out of here for violating trespassing then the counter charge will be false imprisonment and illegal restraint because you don't have a restraining order against me to get me out of the store because there's no law backing this ordinance that's a voluntary measure. These mandates that were brought down from Governor Wolf, they're voluntary. Recommendations. There's so many policies in there. For keeping associates, for keeping all workers and customers safe. And that's our policy that we believe from day one. Believe, exactly. From day you just, one. From you just day said one, we have work. And we enforce it. We you, believe it and we enforce okay, it. Okay, well, I believe... So we kindly ask you and respectfully ask you, if you don't respect our policy, Believe the story. You can take your business elsewhere. Right. You said that it has nothing to do with religion, but he, yet he just said that's his belief. Religion has everything to do with your belief. I think you're putting words in a man's mouth. The store has policy. He just said he believes it. Did you not say that's what you believe? Like, belief and believe, believe. I mean, it's not necessarily a religious word. Okay, okay. The store has policies. It's a privately owned franchise. And they can have policies. Pri privately owned, it doesn't. It does not matter if it's privately. Single out because everybody has to do it. Look, it doesn't matter if it's privately owned or not because it's privately owned. Okay, so you're saying it's not religious. Well, it's not religious. Okay, 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 it's not it's the main refuse service because the store has a policy that everybody in the store wants to wear a mask. If you look around the store, everybody's wearing a mask. They're forcing it to everybody. Mm -hmm. Nobody's being singled out. It's the same for everybody. Yeah. So my, right. one of my other questions is when, when I'll, talk to, I'll call the actual owner because on his website he says he, even though he strongly urges to wear a mask, he cannot force anybody to do it. So why are you forcing me to do it or else you're going to drag me out of the store and lock me up for... No, I don't want to drag you out of the store and lock you up. I'd like you to leave. You want to put a mask on. He yeah. still didn't ask you to leave yet. You put a mask on. It's against my religious, religious beliefs to do so. Well, then, you know, the school doesn't want you here if you're not going to exercise the safety of other customers and yourself. He's already asked you to leave. If this was our religious belief, we would have been wearing these before the pandemic started. It's not a religious belief. So, but when you... If a, before this pandemic, when a Muslim comes in with their face coverings, can you tell them to take the face covering off? There's the cue. Yep, yep. There's the cue to lock me up. Are you willing to put a mask on? I'm going to leave. I'm done. I just, I just wanted to make my point clear. I'm not going to give you any more problems. I just need to leave now. 